yet another bulk box. Um, again, my name is Reno Rach, and if you've never been to the page before, I am all about renovating your life. So that could be anything from finances to DIY projects, renovating your house. Lately, I've been doing a lot of eBay reselling because at co during COVID, I'm home working from home. Today, I have a little helper. This is my daughter, Ariana. Hi. And so she's going to be helping me sort through some of the things in this box. Um, if you watched the first video, we got a lot of good things out of there. I made my money back in like seven days. So I'm hoping that this one is going to be equally as great. Um, I paid $321 for this box. That's including shipping. I think it was like a three, a, a $30 shipping fee. This one came out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, so I didn't have to travel very far. And I ordered it on, what day did I order it? I ordered it Sunday night and it is now Wednesday and it's here. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And I will again explain everything at the very end of the video, how I went through the process of bulk. If you didn't watch the last video, I do suggest you do because I did have some pretty good things in that box. So yeah, let's get inside this. Right, Aerie. Woo! This box is a little different than the box. I oh God, this one's really full. Oh my so my last box was not this full. Um, this one's pretty full. Um, okay, so we've got some, let me see if we can move this a little bit. Some buddy phones. You want to hold those up for them, Ariana? Buddy phones. It looks like there's some headphones for kids. Um, it says safe audio. Actually, I can do this from here. I'm going to move this to the floor. So it does come with stickers on the side. Comes with like, stickers? Yeah. So like there's a space girl and a fox. And a fox. So it's kind of like you decorate your own headphones. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so this is one of the things I did see in the box. Um, this is an Xbox One controller. You can also use it on a PC um, for Windows. Um, it is open, clearly. It's got tape on it, if you want to show them that. I did look at the comps for this. It lights up and everything. I'm an Xbox gamer. Um, I actually used to play on Twitch and everything back in the day. But um, we're kind of an Xbox family, aren't we? Although you do have a Nintendo too, don't you? Mobile. I'm a mobile player. She, yeah. she plays on the tablet as well. Mobile. Um, those comp pretty well, so hopefully these will work. I can test these, so I'm pretty excited about testing it and making sure that it works. And if it does, then we're in pretty good shape. Okay, so I did not see these on the manifest. These are... Oh, yes, I did, but I didn't. it didn't say they were sharper image, so that's actually pretty good. These are um, TV headphones. And it looks like it has been open, so I will have to check to make sure these actually work. But these might have just been like a, a shelf pull of some sort. Um, when I was a kid, we would go to the Sharper Image store in the mall and watch all the fun gadgets and stuff. So I'm going to look that up. Those actually comped pretty well as well. So this one is heavy, so this is going to be a bear to try to ship. And hopefully it has all the parts. This is a TV mount. Um, for a 10 to 49 inch, which will probably not fit any of our TVs. It might fit yours. So if I, if, if I can't sell it and it doesn't have all the pieces, we might be able to find some pieces and maybe use it for her. This is definitely a crush box. Uh oh. That's okay. As long as everything's in here. I don't know. We'll see if everything's in here. This is a headrest mount for your tablet in the car. So you want to hold that up for them, Ariana? So you put it on your tablet and I think it stands up. I think it can stand Yeah, it up. goes on the back of your headrest. Yeah. So this That's is good. a IOD wireless fast charging air vent mount. Um, so it opens up and you can see that it's still there. I actually bought one of these the other day for about five bucks at this store we go to, Give Me a Five. And I love mine. However, if you go over the a bump too fast, it will open up and then my phone falls and I just got a brand new phone. So Kudos to this new imaging you're seeing. I got a brand new phone and I don't want it to drop in my car. Especially if you're going down a freeway and you're not going to stop anytime soon, you lose your phone and it's a problem. So hopefully that doesn't do that. We'll and see. it's for a phone and you can attach it to your air vent in a car. So these are another um, headphones for two to eight year olds. It's J Buddies. They're folding. Looks like it was not packaged back properly, so it's probably a return. We'll have to look and see if those work. You want to hold those up for them, Mary? And it has a monkey picture on it, if, if your kids are into monkeys. 
So here is some more phone mounts. Here's another one that I think is the exact same one as that one that we have. Mm -hmm, it is. So we have... And another one that is an easy one-touch four. So this one's like a smaller version of this one, it looks like. Yeah, so this one... So we have two copies. So if your family wants to, they can. <laughs> and we have a smaller one. So this looked... At first, and when I first saw it, I thought it was new, but it's not. This is a battery-powered... Guard. Uh, da, 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 da. What do you call these? I forget what you call them. Coleman. Yeah. Well, I know it's from Coleman. It's one of those like outdoor lanterns for like camping and stuff. So if your family is into camping, come on down. Cool. Lantern. Yeah. Okay, so this is a USB-C cable. Here, try to put as much on this side as you can, baby. Um, with the lightning end as well. So this it does not have a USB-A side. It goes from USB-C to lightning. So from like iPhone to um, Android. I haven't seen any of those, so that's actually kind of cool. That might be worth it. So it's a charger that has two um, chargers on it. Mm -hmm. things. So you can either, I think this one is, this is the exact same for your tablet, right? Yeah, for yeah. an iPad. Yep. So this is for an iPad, and this could be for a phone or something. Yeah. For a phone. iPad and a phone. So this, it looks like it's broken. I'm going to have to check into it and see if it's uh, broken or not, but it looks like it is. This I was actually pretty excited about. It's a digital camera. These actually go pretty well on eBay, but I can already tell it looks like it might be broken. Yeah, because it's we'll so that it has been open. Ooh, that's and open. That was a sharpie pen. Okay, yeah. so this is some printer paper. I got this in my last box, and I just kept it for myself because we print a lot of packing slips. Um, or I do. I print a lot of packing slips. And so whenever I put them in the packaging, I just use this paper. So I'll probably just keep this since it has been open. I'll probably just keep it. Let's just put it in. No, we'll keep it on the side. Mm. Okay, so this is a selfie stick, but it's Bluetooth. So um, you kind of just, I, I don't know. I don't know how it works, but it's a Bluetooth selfie stick. Hopefully it's in there. We'll see. So if it is. you can hold cameras or anything with it, and I think you could do Bluetooth on it, maybe? Yep. Yeah. So this is one of the things I was kind of excited about to see what kind of condition it is in. It is a digital D, digital TV converter box. So I don't know if you remember back in the day, like people had two TVs and stuff, <clears throat> my family. If you went and got a digital converter, you could get all of the normal channels without actually having like Dish Network or, or DirecTV, Spectrum, any of that. You could actually just have your regular channels you used to get on the antenna, but you'd have them with a digital box. It looks like it's telling you like what kind of channels you can get. So like PBS and stuff. Hopefully this works because it does go pretty well on eBay. When so I it the cost. Um, has ABC HD, Fox HD, CW, Icon HD, NBC, NBC. Okay, um, Yeah, it just has, you, I'll stop it so you can look at it. If you like. Okay, so this has been opened. I was hoping that it hadn't been because it doesn't really go very much on eBay. It was going for like $39.99 to begin with. It's a lot of money. Yeah, not really. But it's also been open. So I'm going to have to check this phone. Um, Wait, that's a phone? Yeah, it's a phone. And wow. I can't see, like, really, it looks like somebody might have used it. So I need to look at this, make sure they didn't just mess that phone all the way up. Smartphone powered by Android. Ooh, your kids are begging for a phone. This works. So this is a screen protector. Mm -hmm. I can tell it's been opened. Um, I don't even know if the screen is actually in here. If it's glass, it's probably broken. But we'll have to look and see if it's actually good or not because it was all bent. Nope, not glass. Okay, so here's another TV mount. Um, it's, I think it might be the same one as what that one was. This one is clearly open on the bottom, so i got to be careful. It's not taped up. Yep. Hopefully all the parts are still there. We're going to have to so, check it and see. Um, there is a second one for you guys. So this has been zip-tied and held together. I don't know why. This is a PlayStation charging cable. I didn't see that on the manifest, but that's pretty cool. I didn't know they needed... I don't have a PlayStation. We used to have one, but... It got the ring of death like a long time ago and it died. So, so if you have a PlayStation or your kids are into that, you should charge it for it. So I have the case for some markers, some Sharpie highlighters. 
but I got one highlighter. I see a bunch at the bottom of the box. So that's going to stay with us, it looks like, since it's open and they're all over the place in here. Here's just two of them right now. Subscribe. Okay, what is this? This is a iPhone, iPad home charging kit. I might be giving this to you because you yeah, needed a new one. It's all mangled anyway. So she need, she has an iPad and she needed a new one because somebody can't keep their chargers. Um, no, somebody can't keep their dog away from my stuff. Okay. Anyways, so sometimes when I see things that are like super mangled, like there's another one sitting over there that's very similar, but it's not an iPhone charger. It came from my last box. I'm just keeping them for myself. If the box is so beyond repair, like this one, I could probably tape it back together, but the packaging is removed from the inside. I can't make that look pretty. And it doesn't go for high dollar anyways. Might as well just keep it. Hit the subscribe button and like. Good job, Ari. So this is ink. The bottom has been ripped open. I hope the inside packaging is not. If it's still inside its package, we're good. If it's not, it's not gonna sell. Mommy, why, what if you just keep it because you needed ink? No, nope, that's not the kind of ink I need. Oh. Mm -hmm. So oh, if you have a printer that's old, whatever this is, you can have it. So I have two, let's see if these are new. It looks new. Yeah, I think these are new. The packaging is awful, but it's new. These are new. Um, Kodak 30 um, ink. Color ink. And it's from the ink loyalty program. I don't know what that means. So but if you have a printer that has um, 30 ink for a 30 ink, come on down. So this says send to CRC for electronics recycling. I don't know what that means. That probably means these probably don't work. And I was kind of excited about these because, um, what are these? Are these JBL? No, these are JLabs. So I had sold some JLabs already. Um, not this exact ones, and I think the exact ones I sold before are right here because I got them. Hold on, I got them on the last box. Um, I was hoping that I could get these sold as well. These are a lower quality than those are. Um, I think I sold these for like 40 a piece. So these are earbuds, wireless ones, yeah. And, and, and as long as the in, yeah, the inside yours. packaging, I even sold one that was like just moving around in there and I sold it for like 35. So these will actually go pretty well. I don't know about these. I'm gonna have to check and see if they work. Wireless with wires. So if you don't like All wires right. getting stuck in your <gasps> This is one of the things I was really looking for. Go put that back, please. Um this is a Nintendo Switch game. It has been open, but it's in there. It just doesn't have the um book or anything. Which is fine. I can deal with that because it will still go on eBay for like 30, 40 bucks. If it would have been brand new, it would have been $60. However, it's not. So we'll see what we can get out of it. But I don't know if you know anything about Nintendo Switches right now. If you get anything Nintendo Switch, grab it. I don't care what it is. Accessory. Today I bought a um, Nintendo Switch Lite case from um, this Gimme a Five store that we go to. Because during COVID... Um, Nintendo had to shut down there in China. So they had, or China, Japan, I don't know. They're, they're in one of those countries. I'm really bad with geography. Um, they had to shut down. And so when they did, they stopped making Nintendo Switches. Well, now they're back in reproduction and they swear up and down that they're going to get back everything and that they'll have enough for quantity or for all of the orders that have been placed. But during COVID, when everything shut down, it was impossible. And it still is here. I can't find a Nintendo Switch. She's been wanting one and I cannot find one for the life of me unless I want to pay like $1,000. Not doing that. So if you find anything Nintendo Switch, grab it because your odds of making some money off of it are very high right now. Just a tip. We'll probably buy it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so this, I already sold one of these in the last box and it sold... Is that a phone? Yes, it's a phone. I think I sold the last one for like... $50, I want to believe. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I'll have to put the comp on here. But um, I've already sold one of these. So I'm just going to relist that bad boy and put new pictures on it and I'll be ready to go. Super easy when you already have been listing things. It's faster to get it in and out. You don't have to look at the specs and stuff again. You already know what it is. I don't want that. I don't want a phone. You're not getting a phone. You are nine. Okay. This is a wireless AC adapter. Um, it is for a uh, any router, and I don't, 
I don't know if it's even in here. I'm going to have to check. It's been open. We'll have to see. I did look this up. I do. I did look this up, but I don't remember what it was worth at this point. So this is a wireless AC adapter. Dual band works with any Wi-Fi router. Okay, you don't have to do that with everyone. Okay. So this is something I didn't do the comps because I wasn't for sure if it would work or not. Um, because it's been a long time since I saw one of these. To be honest, I always use um, mechanical pencils. This is an electric pencil sharpener. With school starting and everything, maybe this will sell pretty high. I don't know. I don't know about this brand or anything, so I'm going to have to look it up. It does look like it's in good condition inside there. Hopefully, it actually works. Okay. Okay, this is another thing I was looking at. This is a charging station for Xbox controllers. And I did look up the comps. They were pretty good, so hopefully it works. Hopefully, it's in good standing. All right, this is a Anchor... Power core charging station. Oh, you have one of those, but it's broke. Mm -hmm. No, mine's not broke. It's just it's not going to charge right now. So I'll have to look that up. A lot of the things that were um, on the manifest, there wasn't as many things on the on the manifest I was looking at compared to items because it's hard on um, uninspected returns. They don't always list everything specific. They might just have the brand, or they might just have part of what the product is because sometimes it's hard to tell. Sometimes you get boxes and you don't really know what it is and I don't blame them. So if it's a new box, their manifest is going to be 100%. If it is an uninspected returns, 90% of it is going to be accurate. Sometimes it's not. So, and that's okay. It's usually, you know, hit or miss. I can tell what most of these things are. So that's okay. Here is something I didn't know really what it was. This has definitely been used. It is kind of dirty. I'll have to clean it up and see if I can sell it <clears throat> as like a used product. But this is a, um, a an, is it an iPad? Yeah, an iPad mini four char or a case. But it's got these things on the side because you can also use it as a stand. And it you can even put it on the round of headrest and everything, if you can see that. It's actually kind of cool. Um, I would like to contain the box with it, though, just so the person knows what all you can do with it. Otherwise, it kind of looks weird. I mean, it looks like a punching bag. So I'd like to still give them the box, even if it is mangled. Maybe I can sell it. Hopefully so. All right, here is another thing that I wanted out of the box. This is FIFA 20 for PS4. This sells really well. I was hoping it was brand new, but it's not, and that's okay. It does come with the the uh, the packaging that was inside. It does come with everything. This is a newer game. So this just came out this year. So um, we'll see how much this will sell for now. Um, I do believe it will probably sell for probably like 39, um, but we'll see. I'll put on there what I list it for whenever I do get it listed. This is a just wireless charging pad. Um, basically, you put your phone on there and charge it. it. Has been open box, and we'll have to see if it actually works. Hopefully, it does. Okay, here's one of those charging situations that I'm probably not going to be able to sell again because it, it's just it's not worth much to begin with, and when it looks like that, I can't really get much out of it. It would probably cost me more in shipping, so. That's another one of those she might be keeping because it's iPhone. Mm -hmm. um, another one of those situations. Don't even know. Oh my gosh. This is for, oh, no, no, no. this is for an Android. But again, the packaging is awful. Maybe I can sell it. I don't know. I might try to list it, but there's, it's going to be hard to sell things like that. It is not used, but I can tell it has been ripped. It has not been used because the twisty stuff is still on. Okay, hold on. Look at all of these Heyday things out. Watch hand. Okay. So I don't know if you know anything about Heyday. I got plenty in my last box. If you get something that's from Walmart, you're probably going to have Heyday in it because this is like their brand, I think, of um, cell phone accessories. So in this... These are actually in pretty good condition. I had some watch bands in my last one and they weren't, but these are. This is for an Apple Watch and this is for an Apple Watch. Both are 38 by 40 millimeter or slash 40 millimeters. And they're actually pretty nice looking. 
So they're not in bad shape, honestly. Um, we might be able to get some money out of those. Let's see here. This is an Apple Watch bumper. bumper. Like you can put the little. Let's see, I have any more of those? Here. I think that's the only one of the bumpers that I have. But I do have. Ooh, I can see the bottom of the box now. I do have um, a lot of Heyday stuff. So like, here's a bumper for a watch. This says earbuds, but as you can tell, there's nothing in the box. I don't know if it's in here. I don't know if they're in here. Oh wait, they, they're in here. They're just in the back. So we'll see what kind of condition they're in. It's for Apple um, iPhone, okay. Apple iPad. Okay. That doesn't work in iPad. We'll see. This one is actually in good condition, so I probably won't be giving this to her. Um, this is like the whole charging kit and it's for an iPad or an iPhone. Apple. Apple iPhone. Apple. Thank you. Um, this one is a micro USB for Android. Um, the box is definitely open. I'll have to make sure that it works. When they're open like that, I do go through and try to plug it into the, my, my stuff to make sure it works. Um, this is another thing of wireless. Oh, these are wireless earbuds. So we'll see Ooh. how this works. If it pairs. That's the problem with a lot of Next wireless earbuds. earbuds. Wireless earbuds, if they don't pair, you're, I mean, they're done. You, you can't do anything with them. So I do always check that because I have had some that they didn't pair. In fact, I recently just got got on some that I got from that Gimme a 5. They were brand new. Never opened box. So I assumed they worked. And the consumer, the customer that I sent them to, he said that no, they didn't. They were dead on arrival. So I checked my other ones that I still had in stock, opened them and checked them and wouldn't you know, yeah, they were dead on arrival, they did not work. So that was uh, $15 out of my pocket, not including the shipping that I paid for him to return his. So it was kind of a bummer because I was planning on making 40 bucks per headphone on those. So it was sad. So this one is just regular earbuds, um, you know, probably like five bucks or so. Hey, let me do the organizing. Okay. This is a wireless charging pad again from Heyday. You're gonna, you're dumping things. Be careful. Don't push. Okay. Here's some phone cases. So I already, oh, here's another, here's another charger for a micro USB. Another one. So I already have some of these cases. I have these listed, so I can just add a quantity to each of those. I have these listed, so I can just add a quantity to each of those. So there are two of these. They're cheetah. Mm -hmm. uh, they are called uh, turtle. What? That's what they're called. They're called turtle. Weird. Doesn't look like a turtle. I would assume green for turtle. You're going to dump that. Oh. There it goes. Poop. This one is kind of pretty. Um, I don't have any of these in stock. So, oh, and it's kind of grippy. So that's nice. This, is, this has like a texture to it, if I could describe it. I don't know. It looks so, like marble. Yeah. So I have, I, I'll have I to list those. I wanted to say that. It's, mar it's marble. Ooh, it is kind of soft. Mm. Mm. So, yeah. They're, they're soft like actual marble. You can also make marble out of those too. Here's to another Heyday watch bumper. Same thing. Yeah, the same color, I think. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we can double it. Two of these. Okay, so I already have one of these. It is a Heyday wallet pocket. It goes on the back of your case so you can put cards in it. Um, I already have one of those, so I'm going to list it. Um, just oh, add a quantity. I think there is a card in here. No, it's a fake one. It's showing you what it's used for. This one is a USB-C charger. goes for Android. Um, I'll have to make sure it works because it's clearly been open. Yeah, and it's a pattern. It's like... White and black zizzles. <laughs> zizzles? <laughs> zizzles? It's like a zebra. Zizzles! Okay, so I still haven't found the big thing that's in here that I've really got this whole box for, so I'm hoping it really is in here. I'm gonna be what is it? really upset. Well, when we get to it, it's I'll, a surprise. Yeah, it's a surprise for right now. So this is an HDMI box. Um, you plug all your HDMI ports into it. It doesn't look like it's open. I'm really, I don't know why it's in a packaging. Weird, maybe because it's actually in the back. But no, it doesn't look like it's open. Um, okay, so this, I'm gonna have to try to sort out because this one's a mess. It is a USB-C charger from Just Wireless. This is just the charging like outlet. 
from Just Wireless. This is some ink. Uh, looks brand new. Oh, no, it's not brand new. I thought it was brand new. No, it's not. It's been opened. Uh, hopefully, it's still in the package from Pixma. Maybe you're in my video doing this. I'm sorry. Stop. Okay, this is a tempered glass from Belkin. I just sold one of these from my last box yesterday. So it is for um, its privacy screen. So like it's black on the top, and if you hold it a certain way, people can't look into it. But if you hold it just right, you can see into it. This is a um, from my bat aluminum alloy magnet protector cover. It's for an Apple Watch. This is a pretty case. It's from Sonics, Ooh. but it's a, for an older phone. Um, it's drop test certified, clear coat case. Got flowers on it for iPhone 6S, 7, and 8. Might give that to my mom. She has one of those. So I don't know. Not very many people buy those older cases. I have a whole bunch in my possession right now. Okay, let's see. Here we go, here's the big one. All right, so this is the thing that I actually bought this whole entire box for, was for these. Dun, dun, dun! These are Galaxy, um, Samsung Galaxy Buds, true wireless earbuds. I hope to God these work, because if so, these are over a $100 item. Um, I bought these at one point in time when they first came out, like probably back in 2012? No, <laughs> 17? I think it was 2017 when these, when the first ones came out and they just made my ears too hot. So I got rid of them, but they were really great <gasps> if I don't break them first. You just broke them. I hope I didn't. Anyways, that and was fun. And it comes with their own case. Dun, dun, yeah, dun. it comes with a case and everything. And it got, it's got everything in here and they are lighting up. So we'll see if they pair. Hopefully they will pair and they will stay charged and I can sell them and nobody will return them. So that's what I'm hoping. Um, we'll see how they work. If I have to, I'll list them as used. Um, I won't get as much. I'll probably get like half my money, but those were the ones that I wanted because, you know, I bought this box for pretty cheap. Those would have been a big deal. That would have pretty much got me half my money back right there. So I do have some cases here. I got some more in here. This is a glass shield. If it's in here, I already have one in my possession. This one is not new and I don't think my, I have one that's not new as well. So I'll just add it on there. This is for a different type of iPhone. It's for an SE, um, but that's okay. I will um, just copy the listing. I have a spec uh, iPhone SE and iPhone 6S, 7, and 8. Um, that's confusing. I didn't know that these fit the same, but uh, this is a spec for that. Um, it's open. Again, I'm going to have to make sure it's okay. This one, this is another thing. I have three of these, I believe. On the manifest, I have three. Yep, here's three. So, these are liquid screen protectors. So, funny story. Literally, the day I found this, we got me, me and my boyfriend new phones. We got the um, Samsung Note 20 Ultra. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. Um, our, I forget what it's called. I'll, I'll put it like up at the top or something. But we had just got them and we're cheap. So he bought the liquid glass for the front of his phone, but I am careful and I don't drop my phone like he does. Um, so I didn't get it. Well, then that night I saw this box and I was like, well, I want this box anyways. And it comes with three of these. So I can use this one that's all dented up and put it on my phone and have my phone screen protected. So I'm pretty excited. Um, I have another just wireless iPhone charger, a gear four iPhone six, six S seven, eight plus. Um, it is a case. It's been open. Hopefully everything's in here. This is another glass shield. This one is unopened. Oh, no, it's not. It's been opened at the top. Darn. Got me again. This one is for an iPhone 11 Pro Max. I do have one of these in my possession. I will just add a quantity on it. Here's another one, but this one's for iPhone XS Max. I'll just add that on there. Okay, so we're getting down to the bottom and I got a lot of just wireless stuff. 
unfortunately, I'm probably not going to be able to sell some of this stuff because the packaging is so terrible. Um, this one, definitely not going to be able to sell. Um, this is a iPhone micro USB charger. Okay, so um, this is a unopened. Please, please, please. Yes, it is. It is unopened HP ink. This is expensive. I know because I just bought some for my HP printer. So that's actually going to be pretty good. I mean, it's got two things of ink in here. I mean, this could probably be like a $40 item right there. This is a pretty case. Oh my gosh. And this is the one that this fits my phone. I didn't know that it was for an ultra because on the, on the manifest, it just said it was for an S 20. This is what it is. I have a Samsung galaxy S 20 ultra. That's what I have. Um, but this one's all twinkly and it's really pretty. I wish I would have known that I just bought myself a case. I could have just done everything for my phone right here. Okay, so this is a tempered glass screen protector. It's rattling. I don't know. I'm gonna have to open it. I have a high probability this is broke already. We'll see. Might be proven wrong, but we'll see. Well, I found the instructions for my uh, light over here. Uh, maybe not in English. Oh no, it is. It's a lantern, here we go, English. So we got that. Random batteries, I just keep those for myself whenever I see them because they've been opened and who doesn't love some batteries? This one is unopened. We'll see how much it goes for. Probably not much, so I'll probably end up keeping it as well. Another bag of random teeny tiny batteries. These are CR2s. I don't think we have anything that will, that will fit. Found the rest of my markers. All right, we are finally down to the bottom of this amazing box. Let me get all of this out. So, okay, another random battery to fill up. Some more batteries that are 357s. They're like for um, like clocks and stuff. Okay, so the, here is a, another lightning connector for an iPhone. This may have been open, but I don't know. I don't know if it has or not. It actually looks pretty well sealed. This might be brand new. So we'll look at it. This is some remanufactured ink cartridges, and it's been taped up. We'll see if it's inside the package whenever we get it. I have some still to list from my last box. I, um, I kept forgetting to do it and it's sitting on my table to get listed and I just, I keep forgetting to do it. My brain is not all there sometimes. You, ladies, you know what? It's okay for our brains to not be all there sometimes. And right now, especially, like I don't know when you're watching this video, but I'm just gonna kind of vent for a second. Right now, um, we are doing schooling at home because um, of COVID. So school just started yesterday and so she's on the computer about four hours a day, starting at nine o'clock in the morning. Then she gets a break from 12.30 to 1.30 for lunch, and then she's back in school again. I'm also working from home. I'm an accountant, so I'm an accountant supervisor as well. So I, I'm on, in charge of people, and I, I'm working from home all day on my computer as well. We got a brand new puppy <laughs> that I'm taking care of too. And um, yeah, so, and then I'm doing this. So like my life is really stressful and women, it's okay if that's your life too. It's okay for us to be frazzled. It's all right. Everything is going to be fine. We're going to be great and we're all going to get through this together. So it's going to be fine. So anyways, back to the good, this good stuff. Um, this is another thing at ink. This is not going to be sellable because it is not in the box. The ink is all over the bottom. That's not going to work. That's okay. Um, here's another tempered glass, but this is not a screen. This is not a privacy one. This is a regular one. And it's for an iPhone 11 pro XS or X. So this works. I feel dust in here and I might sneeze here in a second. So bear with me if I do. I have one of these already listed. It is an FN transmitter. I'll just add a quantity to that. Have one of these too. Um, actually, I think I sold it today. I have two, so I don't. Actually, this, this is the one I didn't sell yet. I'll just add a quantity to it and put that the box looks rough. Um, but they'll be all right. 
I do have three of these. Um, I'll just put this one on there showing it's a grill master and this one is not brand new. Well, actually it is brand new. It's only been ripped on the corner. That's probably why they took it off the shelf. Otherwise it's brand new. These actually go pretty well. Um, you'd be surprised. Like with, I've never had a, a pop socket. I know the kids nowadays have all of these. <laughs> I, I sound so old saying that. Um, I'm a kid nowadays. Anyways, I never had a pop socket. I just buy cases that have the thing on the back, but these actually go pretty well, like for $15 sometimes. So you got, you know, Hey, if you see a pop socket, grab it. Um, last thing is, what is this? Huh. Sony stereo headphones for smartphones. What the jazz is that? I don't know. We'll have to look this up because it's not even my like proper packaging. Um, last thing <laughs> was this. And you, you might be surprised how much this might go for. I don't know. I didn't look it up, but because I really didn't know what it was. Now I know what it is. Um, but people collect stuff like this. My boyfriend collects stuff like this. He collects um, stuff more towards Xbox things like Halo, Call of Duty, and Assassin's Creed stuff. Um, so if you're a gamer, look us up. You know, hey, we love gaming too. Comment below with your favorite game um, because we do play Xbox and um, I play also some PC. A friend of mine was a uh, developer on this new game called Crucible on Amazon. So I played that to uh, get used to that. But I'm a huge Fallout nerd. So if you play Fallout, comment below because I do. And uh, we can be friends and hang out on Xbox. So yeah, this is the end of my box, guys. All in all, I think it's actually, I think it's going to be great. I believe it's going to be great. Um... Especially like this stuff over here that I first opened up. That looks awesome. Um, these cases, super easy. I'm just going to add a one onto my quantity. Um, I've got to test a lot of this. And somebody asked me, um, they, they sent me a message when they saw my video on Facebook and asked me, how long does this take? Because they're really surprised, you know, that I am doing this. And yet, you know, I've got all of this stuff going on. So people have been asking me. So I wanted to kind of go over that just real briefly before I cut to my outro. Um, this actually doesn't take that much for me because I am still very small scale compared to other people. Um, compared to my boyfriend, I'm pretty big scale because he has maybe like 10 items for sale on eBay. Me, I have 200 and something. But we have a big storage closet like you saw on one of my YouTube videos back. Go back and look at that. You can see what we have. We have a storage room and I have a whole setup in there. I usually go during my lunch to give me a five if I'm going to go that day. I've now got it down to a science where I go on Wednesdays um, for about 30 minutes throughout the day. And that's dollar days. So I go and look through the bins. I bought 26 items today for a dollar a piece. Um, I do this stuff. I'm, my goal is twice a month to do a bulk box or a liquidation palette box of some sort. I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to record it for you guys. I'm going to let you guys see it so you can see the unboxing because it's really addictive. It's really, it's really addictive. Um, other than that, the worst part is like listing. I've gotten shipping down to a science. I've got my, my printer right there next to my work computer. So I go upstairs and I'm like, Boom, boom, boom. I do bulk shipping. So I just send them all in there. They all print off together. I print off my packing sheets, shove them all in my boxes that I got from USPS in my, my mailers. And that's that. Um, it's really not that bad. This, I'm going to go through and inventory everything. That'll probably take me about two hours. Then I, um, I test everything after that. And I make sure that it works. Um, that will take me about an hour because not everything is electronic. Like this, I can tell whether this works or not. It's, it's a case, you know? Um, then I will put it, I will list it. Listing does take a while. That's the longest part. I usually keep everything in its box. I still have my bulk box back there in my shipping area and listing takes a while. Now, last box, I got really lucky because I had like, I don't know, 40 cases, something crazy of phone cases. I literally just put one up, 12, put another one up, 13. You know, it was it was a lot. And so I that was easy. Those are easy to list. It's when you have a lot of little items like I do this time that's going to take me a little longer. It's not going to be that bad, though. 
Um, I'm going to be positive and I'm going to go through this. And I'm going to put on here the comps and let you know what things have sold before I posted this video. I usually wait about two weeks before I post it, especially right now because I just posted my other bulk video. Um, so yeah, I will go ahead and move over to where I'm going to talk to you about really this process of doing bulk. If you didn't watch my last video, I'll go over it again for you. Um, that way you can know what's going on. Do go watch that last video though, because that was my first box and I was really excited about it. So, all right, I'll see you guys in a few. Hey guys, so that was my bulk box. Um, so, um, so people have been asking about how the process kind of works. Um, I got on the website and I started looking through boxes and sorry if you see me squint, I'm like looking into the sun. Um, I started looking through boxes and I've been doing consumer electronics. Um, they have several different categories. There's consumer electronics, there's computer and tablets, general merchandise, apparel, and then toys and children. And so I stick with the, uh, the consumer electronics. Okay, sorry about that, my phone died. Okay, so um, yeah, I stick to the consumer, I stick to the, um, the consumer electronics. Sorry, my new puppy is trying to be in the video. Sir, sir. Mm -mm. Anyways, so um, yeah, th then they also have um, different types of items to all together. So you have uninspected returns, which is what I got. Um, you also have um, uh, scratch and dent. You have for parts only, and then you have brand new spanking stuff. So um, my boyfriend is planning on buying a brand new box. I am not because I want more for my money. I want more on, on, uh, on top of it. Like I want more profit. So I'm, I'm doing the in, uninspected returns route. You know, you do take a risk and that's okay, I can do that. Um, so how did it work? I did a lot of research. You have the manifest you need to go through. You need to make sure that you know what every single product is that they have listed. You need to probably look up every single item on eBay, especially the big ones that they're saying costs a lot, and make sure it's accurate because it's not always. Last night we found a watch. Sir, Let's see, little puppy, Thanos little boy um last night we found a watch in one of the boxes that he was looking at that they had listed at like thirteen hundred dollars and it was actually the 75 so you need to be careful with that as well um you want to look through all of that stuff list it or not list it but price it make sure that you're going to get some sort of return kind of do some math and then remember that they are going to charge you sales tax unless you are sales exempt i am not sales exempt so I'm going to make a little um, snippet showing you all of the calculations right now. So that's the calculations that I did. Um, other than that, that's pretty straightforward. I mean, it does take a lot of time to look through the boxes and make sure, you know, you are getting a bang for your buck there. There are some really good boxes. Like he's looking at one right now that's bomb.com and even has a Michael Kors purse in it that I want really, really bad. But um, he's slugging his feet on it. So we'll see if he actually gets it. I think it's a pallet. It's her. Thanos. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah. So new puppy life. Yeah. Um, anyways, that's, that's pretty much the gist of bulk. I really like the website and I plan on trying to do two a month. Um, you know, I might eventually try out some other ones and see what they're about, but I've really been satisfied with this. I mean, I'm making money off of it and I'm happy with that. You know, if I can get a return, woo, buddy. If I can get a return, you know, in a, within a week, then I'll be happy with that. That's all I ask for, even if I make 30 bucks off the box. Yes, it takes a lot of time for me, but that is what I'm here for. I'm not doing this for full time. And, um, you know, some of the eBay people are. Eventually I might, you know, try to go that route, but as of right now, I'm not, I'm not here selling full time. I, I'm, I have too much of a life right now <laughs> to do that. I have, you know, my other full time job and, all the other things that I'm doing. So, um, anyways, yeah, 
I appreciate you guys coming back week after week and looking at my videos. I love all the comments that I'm getting. Um, I love talking to you guys. So if I don't ever answer you and I take too long, I apologize. I will try to like at least like it or something. You know, like I said, I'm kind of stressed right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you have any comments or any questions or anything, please drop it down below and I will be more than happy to get back with you. And I am gonna do another post that's kind of different than what I've been doing lately here coming up. I am gonna talk about some student loans. Um, just because I feel that I have some knowledge from experience that a lot, not a lot of new newbies know. So maybe I should um, tell you all a little bit about that and tell you what I've learned along the way so you don't make the same mistakes that I did. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. Again, like, subscribe. If this is your first time coming, go look through my videos because I am a dork. Big time. I'm a dork. My kid's a dork. My boyfriend's a dork. We're all dorks. Um, and you know, we're all kind of fans of the frugal life. Um, we're not, you know, super uppity. So I'm going to give you a little gateway into my, my day. <gasps> oh my God. Y'all, this dog just jumped completely out of my hand into the grass from like four feet. So that was, that was scary. <laughs> I'm telling you, even my dogs are dorks. Anyways. Where was I at? Oh, yeah. So, if this is your first time seeing the page, please come back. Um, not all of my videos are so crazy the way that this one has been. But, um, yeah. I love talking to you guys week after week. And I will see you guys next week. Hopefully, you love the content. Again, like, subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell everybody you know. There's this crazy girl from that lives in Kentucky. And she's doing that thing. So, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.